In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multiple regression scatter plot. In this example, there are two independent variables, education and IQ, and there's also the earnings dependent variable. And what you need to do is place the predicted earnings values on the x-axis and the actual earnings values on the y-axis. And that will represent the multiple correlation between IQ and education as predictors of earnings. So let's do that. Analyze regression linear. I've already conducted this multiple regression, so I've got my two independent variables here and the dependent variable earnings in the dependent box. Then you want to click on Save and you want to click on Unstandardized Predicted Values. Click Continue and click OK. So the multiple regression has been conducted. You can see that the R squared was 0 0.130. I want to use this predicted value, which is predicted earnings. Let me change that. Predicted earnings. So click on graphs, chart builder, click on scatter, double click on this option here, which is just a basic scatter plot. Put predicted earnings on the x axis and place actual earnings on the y axis and click OK. And here is the scatter plot looks similar to what I produced in the textbook. Double click on this. I'm going to get rid of the, the gray as well as the border. And also I'm going to add a fit line at the total. That's for the total sample size. I'm going to deselect attach label to line, apply. And you can see here that the R squared, let me just make that a little bit bigger. You can see that the R squared is 0 0.130 associated with this scatter plot, which is what's consistent with the overall R squared in the multiple regression. So this is the multiple correlation or multiple regression based scatter plot on the basis of two predictors and one dependent variable. I could improve this by adding a little bit of space on the Y axis. Put 5% there. Uh, that improved a little bit. Of course, I could do a little bit more work on this scatter plot to make it look a bit better by increasing the font size on these various values. But that is how you can create a multiple regression based scatter plot. 